creating your first post in WordPress. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to create your first post and also how to create a post with the video embed. Now, if you're working with a fresh install and you've done nothing yet on this blog, you're going to find that there was a post created automatically. Okay, this is done by the installation just to show you that it does post. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that because you don't need it. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to posts. And here you see it. We're going to say move to trash and apply. Now, the next thing is that first post also came with a comment. We just want to make sure that the comment was deleted right along with the post, which it was. All right, then. Let's go back to posts and let's go ahead and click add new. Now when you open up the add new post window, you're going to see basically just an editor. Up here is where you're going to put your title and in here is where you're going to put the meat of your article. Now there are more features down here, but we're going to skip those for now. Those are slightly more advanced, so we're not going to worry about them in this video. All right, so what we're going to do is, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and pull up an article that I have in my collection. And I'm just going to copy that headline right there, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and copy the body of this article. I'm doing a control C to copy and a control V to paste. At this point, you can go ahead and scroll through your article and you can do anything that you want to do to it in terms of making it look a little better, make sure there's enough spacing between the lines. Uh, maybe you might want to have something bold. Like, for example, what if you could increase the sales? Okay, we'll go ahead and highlight that and we'll just click the B, just like most any other HTML editor. Now it's bold. Okay? We can make uh, something like this into an ordered or unordered list by just simply doing this. Create an unordered list right here. And there you go. Of course, at this point, we can get rid of the little dashes because that's what those bullets are for. All right. And so on and so forth. You can continue to do this all through down the line. Now, up here, we're on visual. So that means we're going to use the HTML visual editor. So we're, right here we're going to go ahead and click and that's going to expand some of our options. So we can uh, format our text for different types, make use an underline, uh, text color, we copy and or I'm sorry, paste from text, paste from word and so on. So again, just this just comes with practice. Just figure out what these buttons do and just you can use them as needed. All right. So Again, go through your article, make sure it looks the way you want it. All right, and then let's go ahead and scroll down. <clears throat> now, one thing that you should do whenever you're creating a post is over here is your tags. And tags are basically they're like keywords. You're going to put in tags that are related to the article content that you're putting up. That'll help when people are trying to search, and it'll help with search engine rankings and so on. So, for example, we'll call this um, online business and separate them with a comma. Okay? You get the idea. Put in the tags that you feel will work the best for you. Click the Add button, and you'll see them here. Okay? So, at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and save a draft. Okay. Now the reason I'm just saving a draft right now and not publishing is because I want to take another step here and I want an added category so I can keep my articles and blog posts categorized. So if I want to put up just some informative articles, I would create a new category and call it articles. You can actually nest the categories, in other words, put subcategories within your categories or we'll just leave it in the parent category. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that one because I don't want to put it there. I want to put it in the articles category. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and click publish. 
All right, let's just go ahead and see how this came out. Here we are back at our home page of the blog. Click refresh. And simple as pie, there you have it. And see, there's our bold. There you have it. So again, you just need to practice. You make the articles and your posts look the way you want to. All right. Now there's an awful lot more features, but again, I'm not going to go through them because this is just for very basic how to post an article. Okay? More videos will be available that get further into things like SEO optimization and such and using certain types of plugins. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and do another post. I'm going to click and add new. And I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to add another category. We'll call it videos and we'll keep it in the parent category. Okay. This time I'm not going to paste an article, so I'll just put my title. Now, the fastest, quickest, easiest way to post a video is get yourself a YouTube account and upload your videos on YouTube. Okay. Once it's up and running, you're going to come to YouTube. You're going to click this embed button right here and this will expand. Okay, it'll look like this when you get here, so click it and it will expand. Right click, copy. Now let's come back here. Now this is very important. In this tab, click the HTML button. The reason we're doing that is because we're pasting raw HTML code. Then we're going to go ahead and make sure the category you want is, is triggered. And again, let's go ahead and add some tags. We'll call this, okay, we'll just use one for now. And then we're going to go ahead and click Publish. Now let's go ahead and check our blog here. Let's go ahead and click Refresh. And there you have it. A very fast and easy way to embed a video into your blog post. Now remember, this is just basic posting. Okay, practice makes perfect, so take your time, play with your blog a little bit, learn how these features work, and then before you know it, you'll be an expert too. Thank you.